flashes and blinks twice, and you see one of them smile strangely and, and keep coming out of the water, but it clearly was injured. 20... Hello, and welcome to the Rummaging Ferret. Hey guys, so, I hope you voted. I voted. <laughs> I just turned in my ballot today. Um, George is doing absentee ballots, so yay. Um, let's see here. So I'm trying to scrub my cabinets and stuff today, because I've been working a lot this last couple weeks, so I haven't done anything too grand. And then on top of that... My computer's been having a little bit of issues, my desktop. It's been shutting off on occasion, usually after running a while. Um, so I took it outside and I cleaned it down. Um, the other problem that might be happening is it might actually be, um, like the hard drive might be going on it and causing it to glitch out. So I did a fair bit of research this morning to try to figure out um, a new hard drive and also a portable hard drive too. Um, so that way I can swap everything over and install just a new hard drive just in case. Um, so I'm getting that done. Um, so that's on its way. Uh, I went kind of with like the cheapest best, best option I could get. Um, to hopefully it ends up okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to spend a lot of money right now. Um, even though I'm working a lot, I'm not making a ton of bank, you know. So, I mean, it's average. It's, I work for a grocery store. I'm not rich. But, um, let's see here. So, I've gotten a lot of things done today, including, um, I'm going to try to start figuring out how to make, like, um, journaling stickers, like for your journals and stuff. So, I went ahead and ordered paper for that. Um, I did buy a Cricut, um, home, I've been looking at them for a long time and they were just too expensive. And then Home Shopping Network had a deal on them, I think last week or this week or something. Um, and it came with all the tools and the maker, um, for less than what a normal maker would cost. So I got multiple mats, tools, like everything you could possibly get. I got for less than the cost of one maker by, I think, like 50, 50 or $60, something like that. Um, I think it qualified for free shipping, too, if I remember right. I don't remember. But anyway, so I got a good deal on that, and that's... I'm trying to look at that as an investment, because I can use that for things. Let's see here. Vinyl stickers are still in the works. Um, I found... I found sticker paper I could make it out of, but I might actually go with a business called Sticker App. Um, I think that might actually be a little bit cheaper in the long run, plus they'll be waterproof. Um, there is a paper I was looking at that I might get that's a vinyl um, inkjet printer paper um, from Palio. It's almost like butterfly in French. I can't remember if I'm saying it right, because I don't know how to say things. But anyways, so um, I was looking at paper from them, but I didn't order it, because I think I'll just do some from Sticker App, because I think it might be cheaper that way, because the paper is super expensive. It's like over $20 for like 10 sheets. I, I think it's, yeah, because it's almost $18 for the paper itself, and then tack on shipping to that is another 5 so that's 17, 18, that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 ish dollars for 10 sheets. So um, I think I might just go with Sticker App. It might be cheaper that way. Um, and Sticker App has free shipping and all that. So I'm going to see what I can do through them and I'll see if that works out or not. And then hopefully I'll get those up onto the website soon. I've got two stickers made up, um, sticker like graphics that I want to do. And I want to work on some, uh, like another one that's COVID related. Um, because I am an essential worker and I know like all my coworkers are and I can't, I can't even fathom what our nurses and doctors are going through right now. So I think like a little sticker that, I mean, I can't, well, maybe I could donate some, I guess, to somewhere, but I don't think that's going to be much of a help or anything. But, you know, just like a, 
woohoo, I survived my job sticker, I thought would be cool. Um, so I'm working on that one. So wish me luck on that. Okay. So I'm bleaching um, my countertops and my walls. Because. Can we see? Can we see? Maybe? Maybe it's a thing we can see. Kind of, sort of, not really. I did clean some of it. But they're like. Nope, I can't handle the camera. There's like little dots and stuff from where roach roaches were. I cleaned it all off the cabinets. Like the cabinets are super clean. But like these weird walls like this, that's just kind of like a no man's land. I didn't really clean. So I'm cleaning these down so I can then clean all my cabinets. Well, not my cabinets, but like my uh, ugh, countertops because this is gross. So basically it's kind of like I've been working from the top down. Anyways, so I'm going to be working on that and hopefully get that done. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you vote and turn in your ballots. Um, I did mine early. So I'm still working on the cabinet. Well, not the cabinet, but the black splash. This is clean. Counter stop needs to still be cleaned here, but this is done. This is not. You can see the difference. This is pretty gnarly. Like all these marks. And this is just like stuff that splashed up there over the years. I'm sure my grandmother didn't clean it very well. And then this is from roaches and everything else um, that are dead now, but that's probably debris from the cabinets from when I was cleaning the cabinets. And like I said, whenever you clean, you gotta start from the top and work your way to the bottom. So that's all debris from the cabinets that were up there. And it probably sprinkled and showered onto the countertop, which I used to stand on in order to clean the cabinet. So I got this part cleaned. So like this, that's a burn from something. Um, but this is all clean. There's some knife marks in there from where my grandmother dropped a knife or a fork. So that's all clean up to the corner. So, I mean, that's quite a difference. I mean, you can see that I didn't get the window frame there. Um, and these are really old liquor bottles. These are from like 60s and 70s. I got another one that's from 69 over there. And these were just in my grandmother's upper cabinets up there. And then underneath there is still pretty gross. I gotta clean that. But that's what we got so far. So I'll keep keep plugging away. <laughs> we're almost done. Well, that's the upper half of this side of the kitchen done. I still gotta clean the vent hood, which might take a bit. Cause I mean, I gotta deal with all that. So, that's, that's a challenge for another day. My eyes are starting to burn from all the bleach, so. But yeah, look at that! It's so clean! I mean, you know, compared to the rest of the disaster area. It needs to be scrubbed. I mean, you know, look at all that. That's actually from uh, oil fire that I had. I was trying to make funnel cake. Didn't end well, but I just got that left. So that's that's half the kitchen, and that's the, the smaller half that's left because oh, I don't think I can back up far enough in this kitchen. But uh, yeah. So all these cabinets are cleaned, emptied, um, and they have like shelving paper in them. 
and they're ready to go. I still have to clean these two shelves. But other than that, those two shelves in the vent hood. Other than that, it's clean. I have a countertop again, at least a bit of a countertop. I'm so excited about that because I can actually cook now. Like, cook, cook. Like, chop stuff kind of cook. I am going to take, um, even though I bleached this, I am going to get, um, well, I have a disinfectant spray, and I'm going to spray the disinfectant probably, like, tomorrow all over this, let it sit to disinfect, and then I'll wipe it all up. Because um, even though I bleached it, um, you know, your bleach gets dirty over time. So... And there's, you know, things in the bleach. It, you know, you, you wipe stuff up, you scrub stuff up, and then it ends up in your bleach when you redunk your brush. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to make popcorn. Um, and my friend bought me this. It's like a microwave popper thing. I just washed it. She bought me this like a year ago. And so I clipped the tags off of it. And I washed it, gave it a little, a little wash. So we're going to figure out how to do this. Now I already read the warnings. It's like four pages. Like four pages of warnings. So. And actual instructions are like two pages. So we're going to fill it to the line, pour it in, add some butter, and then microwave for two to three minutes. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. I should probably not be looking at the viewfinder to do this. Okay. Okay, so we're to the line. That does not seem like a lot of popcorn. All right, well, so then we pour it in. That's so few kernels, though. Ecolution microwave popcorn popper. Yep. You hear that? Oh, it smells good. You can smell the butter. I'm excited. <laughs> so I stopped it before time. I had 12 seconds left. But... I didn't hear too much popping. That's not hot. Okay. It said to grab it with an oven mitt. That's probably because the glass is like super hot. So I'm just gonna... I'm just... It said to you be very careful taking off the lid and to use an oven mitt. And that the steam can burn you. So I'm just being very careful. Oh, too bad this doesn't have smell vision This smells so good. Alright, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a minute because it's probably too hot to eat. She gave me this um, popcorn container for the popcorn. That's good. Needs. Oh, no! Oh. It needs more butter. But, I'm just gonna eat my popcorn. Gonna watch some catnip. I'm gonna let the ferrets loose and work on my work. Hi guys, so it's been a while. Um, trying to think. I just got my stickers in, and I I was so excited. I went to the post office last night because I. All right, so yesterday I worked right. I worked in a closing shift, so I got the email notification that my package was at the post office. Problem was, our post office has very, very limited hours. And by the time I got that email, the post office was already shut down. So. I actually went and picked them up after work today. <laughs> so I went last night to try to pick them up, but apparently the package was too big to fit in my post box. So I actually have a bigger, um, bigger envelope. So I got them in now and I'm going to open them. So we're going to see how this goes. That's kind of funny. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at them! And these are from Sticker App. 
Oh, they look so good. They're a little dark, but that's okay. So I got, I think my, my monitor needs to be darkened up a little bit. Oh, there's, I survived my COVID. You know, I survived my job in COVID. Um, oh, the backpack sticker turned out really, really good. Oh, and the ferret ones. Oh my gosh. And then Hakuto. Okay, so I just, when I need to print stuff, I need to lighten stuff up. But they look so good. This one looks pretty, pretty on par. So I think it's my monitor. I'm going to have to adjust the colors on my monitor to help match printing a little bit better. Look at that! Ooh! So excited. Oh, that feels so thick! <laughs> I got the vinyl ones. That does not feel cheap. This feels a little bit thicker. I don't know who they use. This is from Corgi on Fleek. Yeah, vlog after college. I'm not sure if he still carries his sticker or not. Um, but I love his merch and I like, um, I like supporting Ryan and his dog. So that's, that's a fair size. To, no, it's about the same. Considering the cut lines right there. So, but yeah, so these are the dark gray back background. Um, and then, really curious how this one turned out. So this should have a clear backing. Should be clear vinyl. Oh, that looks so good! Here's the test. Oh, it does! And you can see through the water bottle, kind of. Eh, kind of, but not really. You can, kind of. It's not, yeah, actually you can see through it, through the water bottle. It's not as dark as some of these. I mean, it's not super sheer, but, you know, that's cool anyways. But you can see through, like, the water bottle and all the detailing and stuff and the ferret legs. So I am super happy with that. I'm really excited to use one of these. <laughs> so uh, hopefully these will go up in the store soon. I'm so excited. Sorry, I just got off work, so if I sound a little tired, it's because of that. I've had a long morning. Yeah, and you can see through, like, the backpack. That's so cool. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Yeah. Okay, so this is not as transparent as I would like. Um, it's, they just did it in a lighter gray. They didn't do it as translucency. Which they had showed, um, on some of their other products. They showed, like, it had, like, a see-through effect. But this doesn't have that. But that's okay. I, I really like them. I'm quite proud of them and happy of them. So... Um, these are from Sticker App, so I'm really, I'm really excited about that. So I guess this is their information. So, I don't know. This is really cool. I'm really happy with this. Awesome. All right. So thank you. Uh, these are awesome. Hopefully I'll get these up in the store soon. Um, I only ordered 25 of these. How did I get so many? Is that 25? I guess that is 25. Wow. That seems like a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these. But, um, so I've got like all the different jobs. So I got, you know, postal service, farmers, factory workers, um, first responders, police, Amazon, um, and everybody that works in the grocery industry like me. So... That's everybody from your Instacart shoppers, which would be like the green bag and the carrot, um, or just like if you work shipped, um, shipped is also green, I think. Um, and they use bags similarly. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I'm sure there are other delivery companies, but that's kind of 
it started with that because of the job that I work and everything. Let me make sure that this one turned out alright. Because all of that should be clear. Kind of like the ferret one. COVID-19 2020, I survived the job, and there's little smokestacks. I can see the smokestacks. Like, the smoke coming off the smokestacks. Yes, it did. Alright, cool. So that's... See all the little spots in between that were clear. You can even see through the potato bag. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with these. And that's, that's a nice thickness, too. And supposedly these are... Um, Pretty water resistant. I don't want to say anything's like waterproof because I'm sure if you soak it in water for long enough it'll have problems. But um, they're fairly, you know, water resistant. So like if you put it on the side of like your water container or something, it should be all right. So like for water bottles and stuff, I think it should be okay. Um, hoping at least because that's kind of the idea for these guys is you'd put them on your water bottle or something. So, I'm super stoked about this. I'm so excited. This one came out pretty simple, but... It's my little Hakuto. My little Hakutness. She seems so simple, but at the same time, like, I kind of liked her like that. Because I thought about adding shading and all of that. Um, but it just... Kind of like how I did this one. Where I added shading here and down here to her feet and the side of her muzzle and her ears. But I just, I started doing it on this one and it just didn't feel right. Like this felt like this should have been a simple sticker, like a simplified one. And I'm really excited because you can actually see the difference in the gray, the dark gray and the lines there. So I'm, I'm super happy about this. Oh, well, it's my baby. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is Hakuto. Um... She passed away just this last, like the day after Christmas, I had to put her down. Um, she was 13 years old. So these, these are really special to me. And I actually used to backpack and hike with her in my backpack when she was older. Um, so this is actually based on a photograph. Only I had her on my back and it wasn't slumped over like this. But I had her in my backpack. Um, and I used to hike the trails with her in my backpack. Um, so this is, this in particular is very special to me. Um, I'm gonna cry. Alright, so, that's my baby girl, um, who's no longer with us. And then, these are my ferrets. So that's Kirkle and Absent. And so I got backpacking stickers, I got corgi stickers, and I got survive my job stickers. So hopefully these will all be going up on uh, my website soon. Buddy. Hey, Kirkle. Good boy. Hello, Absent. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed me and my ferrets, it's free to subscribe. And remember, there's magic in art.